Okay, so I've been working on this little library in my cabin study room and I think it's been the most satisfying room that I've been working on since I started renovating this house two years ago. So far I've built the library for all the books I don't have. I put in a lot of the wall panelling, the floor and everything is this warm but very calming woods. I'm going to build bunkette seating along the front wall but first I'm going to make a custom desk to fit next to the library. This desk is going to be a dream come true. <laughs> I've always wanted a really good workspace. I also like to make clothes so having space for patterns and my sewing machine is going to be such a luxury. When I really think about it, I went from renting rooms in house shares in London to having this little space completely to myself, so being able to change it in whichever way I want is pretty incredible. For the worktop I'm using the same pine countertop I also used for the kitchen counter so architecturally it will read like a continuation within the two spaces. I put a light stain on it, a little lighter than the walls which I ended up really liking. I'm also preparing the uprights which will hold the shelves underneath the desk. The planks I'm using are typically used for exterior panelling like the planks on my house that are painted red so the quality is a little bit rough and they're always a bit warped, so I sand them the best I can, but honestly I could probably use a better quality sander to smoothen them a lot more. Either way, I won't be able to properly attach them just yet because the height of the shelves are aligned with the bunkette seating and this design is still a bit up in the air. I'm just preparing all the elements so they're ready to be attached when I figured everything else out. Let's take a minute after that. This is probably the perfect moment for a little interlude and introduction because this is a paid partnership with BetterHelp. If there's one thing I've always believed, everybody can benefit from its therapy. I've spoken a little bit about my own issues and stress that come from renovating a house on my own and living in it at the same time and how this has influenced my health. You don't need to have gone through trauma or deal with clinical mental health issues like anxiety or depression to benefit from therapy. Now, even if your life seems great from the outside and you're chasing your dreams like me we're all just humans struggling in their own ways and i think we're very good at attaching ourselves to feelings emotions and thought patterns that keep us from moving forward in life and therapy can give you the tools to approach life in a very different way and that's why i'm excited to tell you about better help better help's mission is to make therapy more accessible if you live more remote like me and there's less options then better help is a perfect solution because it's completely online it's easy to sign up you start out by filling out a few questions and better help would match you with a credential therapist within as little as a few days and if you feel like you don't really click then you can easily change therapists at no additional cost. You can tell in my videos that my life goes up and down all the time and knowing that I could check in with someone whenever is invaluable. 
If this sounds like it could help you too, then have a look at the link in my description. It is betterhelp.com slash roamingwildrosie and get matched with a therapist and see if you like it. Clicking it will not only support this channel, but it will also give you 10% off your first month. Thank you so much to BetterHelp for supporting this channel. I figured I should paint the ceiling before I put in my desk so I can reach more easily. I got this delivered a while ago. New paintbrush. Welcome to my ceiling. Okay, this paint just seems to be, I don't know, really old or something. Um, so I don't know how I'm going to mix this. Let's try something else. I got this paint and plaster mixing paddle. this color so originally I mean obviously I was going to do the same color I have in the kitchen which is kind of like a white but slightly going towards gray but then I changed my mind and I wanted a warmer white so this is a warmer white which in theory means I should be repainting the ceiling in the kitchen as well one day making the whole thing look even more real. Okay, basically this wall is really crooked, which is why I'm trying to align it against the windowsill, but it means I need to cut a bit of hair I'll also need to do some cutting at the other end.
morning realizations. This is why I wanted this desk against this wall. It gets really nice morning light. It does disappear quite quickly. But it's got a really nice view onto the forest. I am loving this. Oh, I'm loving this. And the ceiling looks so much better. It needs one more layer, but it, it everything just looks so nice and calm already. shelves on either side. I so badly want to finish this desk, but I can't. I have to start the banquette seating first. And before I do that, I'm gonna do some painting. I'm gonna paint some windows. So let's switch it up. I also want to give the ceiling another coat. And then that's done. The ceiling looks so good. Everything is looking good. Ooh. Okay, let's keep it moving.
you know what? I really like this. But I'm starting to change my mind about the colour for the windows themselves because I was planning on using the same terracotta I have in the kitchen. But I actually really like this being very light and bright as well. I don't love the white because it's too it's too white. And maybe a light grey. I also love the terracotta and I think the terracotta is a really nice warm colour during winter. So if I put the terracotta on the secondary glazing, which you can take out, and just keep it really clean and simple for the summer months. Do this grey. I think that could actually be really interesting. I'm hoping I didn't just ruin my ceiling. <laughs> the paint got really thick and I should have thinned it by dinner and I just kept on going. Then it got dark so I couldn't see anything anymore so it could be really blobby. I don't know. I'm hoping it's I'm hoping it's not recognisable in the morning. But at least it's got two layers. I need to give the window another few layers I think. Okay, three things are happening. One, apples. I have a mystery person. And mystery person likes to deliver apples. Same thing happened last year. And I have no idea who mystery person is. It could just be someone who lives here, but I don't know why somebody is leaving apples anonymously. Also, mystery person is about the unluckiest person in the world because I am always here and they tend to come by when I'm not here. So if mystery person is someone who knows about this channel, then let me know that you're mystery person. Um, apples. Okay, second thing. I got another pot of paint. Remember how I went to Gothenburg and picked up two cans of paint? Yeah, I just realised that I can get the same paint much closer to home. It means that I now have the light grey for this window and I can actually paint it. And then the third thing. I got... I got an axe. It's not mine. So my plot neighbour came by. I say plot neighbour because he doesn't live here but he owns the forest plot next to me. He's the person who came by a while after this tree fell initially and chopped it up into big pieces he noticed that I'd finally got rid of the tree he came by and asked if I wanted to borrow this axe and I said yes because I don't have one yet <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna try this out I I'm gonna be watching some YouTube videos about how to actually use an axe so that's kind of cool Okay, let's let another time. I'm back to working on the desk. I figured out a way to attach the legs, so I'm now cutting the sections I'll be using for that. These past few days, I spent some time on my bunket drawings. I redid the ones I did a few months ago, so I figured out the heights for everything, which means I can also put in the first shelf. I'm measuring where I'll be making some borer holes to screw them to the on the side of the desk. I finally have a sunny day again though, so before I fit these I'm moving on to the windows so I can paint those while the weather is good. This summer has been really rainy and the rain has been continuing into autumn. It's getting colder as well so I need to take advantage of the good days.
first layer is looking a little bit green but I found that in a shop and it is the right colour but I think the second second layer might look a bit different <laughs> I painted three layers and on the last day of having no windows I found this poor tiny bird in the house. I put a sheet in front of the open windows at night but there was a gap at the top so she'd got inside. I don't know how long she'd been here for. I found her in the kitchen flying into windows which was so sad but I finally got her to the open window again and there she goes, back to freedom again. I'm doing something different today and I'm struggling to get going. Oh, my poor flower patch. None of my flowers grew. I sowed so many sunflowers here and other things and nothing, nothing came up, not one thing. And now it's basically turned to grass. You can hardly see that I turned this into a flower patch. So, so much for my hard work, but. So that makes me a little bit sad, but I also planted this fig and Apparently figs don't actually do that well outside during winter. So... Oh! <laughs> My poor fig! She did grow quite a bit while she was out here. You know I have so many things to do outside. I should really just spend a week or two weeks just doing things outside. Like the grass is growing like crazy, it's such a mess. And then there's a the whole chimney that's still lying in the front. I have so much mess. Yeah. You can be happy inside again. Okay, I got three plants and I got them months ago and I still have to plant them. So let's dig holes, let's do this. I, uh, I waited long enough for these poor babies. Let's do the berry first. garden is just a giant garbage belt. It really pisses me off. There's so much glass, plastic in the ground. I'm digging this entire like trench trying to take out this plastic and it's still just not ending. I mean this plastic could go on for like another 10 meters for all I know. one and I'm cold and I'm really not enjoying myself this is this is a horrible job oh <laughs> um, okay I have two more to do and one is gonna go somewhere here and the other one uh, somewhere there but 
I'm cold and I need to cut the grass. I think I'm gonna do something else. I know, I, I finally got to this day. I've been waiting for months to do this. And I'm giving up. <laughs> I think I'm giving up. <laughs> it's too much for me. I'm exhausted. Okay, I'm going to put in this shelf, I'm going to put barrels on this side and then this side will get more of a decorative dowel. I don't have a drill bit in the right size so for now I'm just going to screw it in. very small under here. So when I get the right drill bit, I'm going to take a bit of this rod and put it at the end here, like I have in the kitchen. Even more solid.
You know, I can't quite tell you how much pleasure I get from standing here and looking at all of these clean lines. It's so satisfying. <laughs> Don't know what to say. I've been working on the banquette seating. It's taken quite a bit of work to prep, um, but I have the drawings and I will share those in the next video. I'm going to start the framework. Yeah, I, I guess. <laughs> Slowly moving forward. Uh, this is it, I think. It's not finished though, all of the trims are still missing. I am going to put in a skirting as well, so that white line will disappear. Also, I'm, I'm in love with these windows. I, I take so much pleasure out of actually having windows that are, that are not flaking and just nicely painted. It is so calming. I love this little corner. So bit by bit, 